360 coverage continues with our Melissa Hipplet this evening. Henrico County Public Schools are taking another look at their COVID mitigation measures. Melissa Hippolyte is live to explain how the school board will decide whether or not to keep its mask mandate and how parents are reacting. Melissa. Well, Candace, the Henrico County School Board is still requiring universal masking in all of its schools, but today they voted to establish metrics on when they can start walking that back. Amy Kenyon sits at a crossroads. It's a decision that, you know, we've got to make. She took her son out of Henrico County Public Schools when the system went to virtual learning in 2020, and she's now thinking about sending him back for high school. It's a hard decision. On her list of decision makers, parental choice on masks. I'm all for choice. I'm not an anti-masker, you know. I've worn my mask. I've, you know, my son's worn a mask for years, and you know, we did what we have to do, but we're two or three years into this. So Kenyon is excited about Democratic Senator Chap Peterson's bill to amend the Code of Virginia to end mask mandates in Virginia schools. She believes Henrico schools need to stop forcing kids to wear masks. I think that, you know, that it's politically motivated. I don't believe that they're following the science. But Henrico parent Megan Ely, who recently spearheaded a fundraiser to buy KN95 masks for teachers and staff in her son's school, disagrees. I don't identify as pro-mask, anti-mask, any of that. I identify as pro-science, pro logic following what the scientist says. With Peterson's bill passing the Senate with bipartisan support and now heading to the Republican led House where it's sure to pass and then on to Governor Glenn Youngkin who could add an emergency clause which would allow the bill to take effect in a matter of weeks then back to the House and Senate for approval. Ely worries Henrico will have to comply. If the CDC is not ready for the schools to be on masks then I would be incredibly disappointed by this change. She believes school systems should be allowed to set clear metrics for themselves for when masks can become optional. And at today's Henrico School Board meeting, the school board did just that, voting that when Henrico County falls below 100 new cases per 100,000 people or below 10 percent positivity on PCR tests within the past seven days and holds there for seven days, the superintendent should consider transitioning from universal masking for students. I don't want to see a rush job. Now, our political analysts told me it will be interesting to see if anyone goes to court to try to challenge this amendment if it passes. He said they could argue this is an unconstitutional infringement on the power of local school boards.